Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I do a film review on the lesser known films of very well known filmmakers. In my last video I did a review on Paul Thomas Anderson's Phantom Thread and then doing so kind of gave me the idea that I should expand the scope and look at the lesser known works of other filmmakers as well. So for this video I've decided to look at Mr. Surrealism himself, David Lynch. What the hell? Widely known for directing Blue Velvet the very highly acclaimed Mulholland Drive, and also the TV series from the 90s, Twin Peaks. For today's video, however, I will be looking at David Lynch's under-the-radar gem from 1999, The Straight Story. The Straight Story is a very simple tale that tells the real-life story of Alvin Straight, who is played by Richard Farnsworth, a 73-year-old World War II veteran who lives in Lawrence, Iowa, with his daughter, Rose, who is played by Sissy Spacek. At the beginning of the film, Alvin receives news that his estranged brother Lyle, who lives in Mount Zion, Wisconsin, has suffered from a stroke. After hearing this news and not seeing his brother for 10 years because of a relationship ending feud, Alvin decides it's finally time to travel 317 miles to Mount Zion to see his brother. Alvin, being 73 years old, very senile and needs two canes to walk, obviously doesn't have a driver's license. So he therefore decides, to the amazement of his daughter and his friends, decides to drive to Mount Zion on his lawnmower. The film accounts Alvin's odyssey across the Midwest on his lawnmower and the people he meets along the way. The film explores the very simple theme of the different kinds of family relationships. In Rose's case, we have a kind and loving relationship, whereas on the other hand, with Lyle, it is a little more complicated. And another one of the film's great strengths that I would also like to bring up is its cinematography. As there isn't a great deal of conversation in a large bulk of the film, the film's efforts to capture the American Midwest landscape and its beauty clearly stands out for the viewer. Without giving too much away, I think it is important to add that Alvin is the sole focus of this film. The weight of the film heavily relies on Farnsworth's brilliance, as it can be very easy to lose the audience's attention when there is only one character to focus on. That is one thing that I can't shake loose. All my buddies' faces are still young. And the thing is, the more years I have, the more they've lost. I also want to point out that the narrative structure is very unique when compared to Lynch's other films. When people set themselves up for a David Lynch film, they usually anticipate that they're going to see something strange, unsettling, or in a lot of cases, quite disturbing. I mean, we're talking about a guy who is a cooked chicken come to life in his movie Eraserhead. We have that... 30 minute long dreamlike sequence in Mulholland Drive that just terrifies everybody and just an overall strange bunch of characters from the likes of Blue Velvet and Twin Peaks as well. The straight story is very much a family friendly movie. It is very down to earth and there is nothing Lynchian at all going on here. Though I should note that this movie is produced by Walt Disney Studios and I don't think that the typical Lynch style would be their target audience. Those of you who are fans of David Lynch and the films he's done, you do get a weird sensation uh, from the opening credits when you see Walt Disney Pictures followed by a David Lynch film. It feels very out of place. So overall, The Straight Story is a very unique film from Lynch's filmography, basically because of how normal it is. And I do want to emphasize that despite its simplicity, which really does go against the grain of David Lynch and his fans, it is a grounded and heartwarming film suitable for all ages. I also think that it is safe to say that if you wanted to introduce David Lynch to a more casual moviegoer, The Straight Story would be a great place to start as it is more narrative driven rather than the usual Lynchian style that is so appealing to more film enthusiasts. So that wraps up my video for today. I thank you all for watching and listening and I very much can't wait to see you all again for my next review. Goodbye and God bless.